Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you my Hermes scarf collection and a Versace scarf too. I'm gonna to show you how I tie them and how I style them. So first let me show you my Hermes. I have three Hermes scarves. And let me start with my orange and yellow one. The right one, Teddy. Okay, here it is. Orange and yellow, yes. This one is um, has got like little hot air balloons on it. It's really adorable. You'll see the full view of it when I show you how I'm modeling uh, the particular style that I'm gonna wear with this. With this one, I'm just wearing a very simple triangle and tied around the neck with the dress, but I'll show you how I fold it. So hang on. Okay, everyone, I laid out the scarf and I'm going to fold it in a triangle. I like to leave the little, um, let me see, did I do it on the right side? I wanna leave the Hermes, because I like for people to see that I'm wearing an Hermes scarf and appreciate the beauty. Hang on, here it is, Hermes is on this corner. So I'm gonna do this, if you can see. So I'm basically just making a triangle. There you go, you can see a triangle, right? And what I'm gonna do is tie this around my neck, like you'll see in the upcoming video on my dress, but I'll show you how I tie okay, it. everyone, now you're gonna see how I tie this. I just go around my neck, and you'll see how it looks on the dress, but I just wanna show you the tying. All I do is just tie it in a simple knot. And I tie it wherever, you know, it looks good on the dress. So, you know, sometimes if it's a sweater, I might tie it lower. If it's a dress, I might tie it higher. And I kind of poof out the ends a little bit too. So they're not just hanging there like, like deflated balloons themselves. Okay, so that's how I tied this. And now you're gonna see it in a minute on the dress. I think it looks stunning on the dress. The dress itself picks up some of the yellow and kind of a chartreuse in the scarf. And it really just is a great accent piece. So you'll see how elegant um, a scarf can add to a plain shift dress. Okay, and here it is on my chartreuse shift dress. As you can see, it adds a myriad of pop of colors to this dress and really makes the dress stand out that would otherwise look a little bit on the plain side unless it had some jewelry on it. But there you go. You can see that a scarf can replace a big necklace, a big chunky necklace, or any kind of piece of jewelry. And in a minute, as soon as I untie it, you'll see the full view of this really beautiful Hermes scarf. It's a beautiful silk, orange and yellow. I've worn this with gray and orange before, an orange cashmere sweater. It's really, it's a beautiful next, scarf. Next, we're going to show you the next Hermes scarf. I love these orange boxes that they put them in because you can store them really nicely and they don't get crumpled or thrown around in your drawer. This one has little Hermes stamps on it. It's really cute. This one's got Hermes all over it, so there's no like one place where it says Hermes Paris because the whole thing just says Hermes. So now I'm gonna show you how I tie this as an ascot, and I'm gonna be modeling that with a denim dress. Okay, so we're gonna take this and uh, put it in a triangle first. Then I'm gonna take this end, and I'm gonna put it up to the fold. Then I'm gonna fold it over. Take, stick that little end and fold it over. So it's about that thickness, and then I'm gonna fold it one more time. And this is the, the way that I'll tie it also for um, the belt that I'm gonna do next and the Versace scarf that I'm going to uh, tie. So this is the same fold that I'm using for the next uh, three scarves. So I won't have to show you the folding process again because it's the same. So we want it like this, okay? For the tie, I might fold it to make it a little smaller. I might fold it over one more time. All right, now I'm gonna show you how I tie this ascot around my Okay, neck. so we wanna make an ascot now. So I take this and I put it flush up against my neck like this. 
and then I pull it around, just crisscross it over. And typically I wear this, you know, with naturally with any kind of a V-neck or open neck collar. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this, and you see I got the two even ends. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out this part here and I'm gonna twist it. Okay, so you have like a little donut hole here. And then I'm gonna flip this end in the donut hole. So flip it through. And then I'm gonna flip the other end through the donut hole. Flip it through. Cause then I pull them up and now I could just go like this and adjust the ask out however I want it. This particular case, let's say for this blouse, let's say I'm wearing it with this blouse. I'd flip up my neck a little bit higher, whatever. Tighten it around my neck, not so it's choking you. You know, you don't want the thing choking you. And this is a good look for winter or early spring when it's still chilly out. I wouldn't wear this if it's hot out at all because it will literally suffocate you because it's so, so it gets very hot. But this is great for um, late fall, winter, and maybe early spring where it's still chilly out and you get that kind of ascot look. And now I'll show you how I'm wearing it with that uh, denim dress. Okay, and here you see it with the denim dress, a very plain dress. And again, adding several pops of color right underneath the neckline where it kind of really showcases the neckline of the dress and just adds a little more oomph to the look. Now I'm going to take it off and I'm going to show you the full view of this particular Hermes scarf. It's really cute. Like I said, it's all Hermes stamps. And again, goes with many colors, browns, oranges, beige. It just goes almost with everything that's in the brown tones. Okay, we're back. And now I'm going to show you the next scarf. I've already folded it exactly like I just folded the ascot. This has got a zebra print. And what I'm going to do is all I'm going to do when you want to make a belt is you just take it like this and you just loop it through your belt loops and then you tie it in the front. As simple as that with a very simple knot, just like I showed you previously around my neck. So I'll show you how I'm wearing this on a pair of off-white baggy pants and a black tee. It really is like a great accent. Okay, and here it is with a very simple black tee and the baggy off-white pants. The colors just accent the tee that I'm wearing. And unfortunately, in this picture, I don't think you can see, I have a pair of black fisherman sandals on. And so the look really pops with that belt. I even left a little Hermes uh, on the end. And then you'll see me untie it so you can see the little... You can see the whole print. It's a zebra and gold print. It's beautiful. I bought this, I remember, in the fall in, in Paris. It was really beautiful. So those were my three MS scarves. Now, I don't want you to think that I purchased all of those at one time. Those scarves are very expensive. I think I paid about $350 for each one. Um, I bought each of them, two of them, the zebra and the... Uh, what, um, hot air balloon I bought each time I went to Paris because I've been on two trips to Paris. And the third one uh, with the little stamps on it, I purchased at our um, Hermes in this state. So I did purchase one of them locally. But those, again, the Hermes scarves, unless you're, you know, filthy rich and you're flying around in jets, you're probably not going to be buying them by the piles. But they're a really chic accent piece to add to even the simplest dress, or as you saw, a very simple pair of pants. Everything that I paired the scarves with was just a very simple outfit, and the scarf was kind of the outstanding accent piece. So those are my Hermes. Now I'm going to show you a Versace scarf. Now this Versace scarf has a very interesting story. I purchased this scarf approximately 25 years ago, the day after Johnny Versace was shot, unfortunately. There's a local Versace store here that I went to, and I actually purchased a scarf there, and I still have it to this day. Like I said, the scarf is almost 25 years old, but I wanted to show it to you, and I wanted to show you how I style it, because I still wear this scarf. I love it. I even have it, look at this, in the original Versace tissue paper. 
which has got holes in it and everything, but for some reason, I just keep it in there. Now, again, for this particular look with the Versace scarf, again, it's going to be folded exactly like I folded the um, belt and the ascot. So I will show you how I tie this into, I'm gonna tie it into a tie. It's very interesting. I think it's a very cool, very interesting look. Okay, so again, I just tied it just like I did the belt and the ascot. And I'm gonna tie this like you would tie a man's tie. Now this, typically, you know, I would button the collar sometimes depending on the tie. But for this, I like to keep it a little open so I have a little bit more room to play with. So you take it and you're gonna tie it just like a tie. So you're gonna go around once like that. And then you're gonna go underneath and pull it up. And if you know you don't get how to do it for me, you can ask your man or anybody else who happens to know how to tie a tie. Now I always do it backwards. So I get the short part in the front. So, and I, I don't have any patience with my husband, so the heck with him. But anyway, as you can see, let me sit back a little further. You see how it's kind of like this. Now, I don't like it like that because to me, that looks like a, a Boy Scout tie. So what I like to do is I pull it up so the knot goes up a little higher under my neck. And you're going to see the back when I model it because I let the back of the scarf show. I don't try to fold the back of the collar over it. And then what I do is I just twist it around. So then you just see the longer part of the tie. And you'll see how this looks actually on this shirt. I'm actually modeling it on this shirt, but you'll see a better angle of it. But I just wanted to show you how to do that. So basically you tie it the exact same way that you would tie a man's tie. And that's how I wear it, like a man's tie. It looks really cute. I like it. It makes it very versatile. Here you go. Here's how it actually looks. Okay, and here's a full, full view shot of the tie, wearing it with a very simple white Ralph Lauren button-down shirt and a black pair of jeans. I did not flip the collar over the back of the scarf so you could see it. So it gives a little bit of a masculine edge to this outfit. Now I'll pull it apart for you so you can see the full view of the scarf. It really is a beautiful scarf. And like I said, I've had it for 25 years and it never fails to add some pizzazz to my outfit. So here's the full view. It's little puppy dogs and flowers and butterflies. So as you can see, a scarf is really a key accessory in anyone who loves to dress um, anyone's wardrobe. It's It just is a really great accent piece, especially if you don't have a big piece of jewelry. I do like accent jewelry as well, too, so I do have big heavy collars and big necklaces and things like that but if it's a time when i just don't feel like wearing a piece of jewelry or the colors and the scarf are particularly pretty and go with the outfit which i think for most part all of these scarves did really coordinate an accent with the outfits that i was wearing um the the balloon one picked up the accent of the yellow dress the zebra brown and white one picked up the um black in the shoes and the um and the t-shirt that I was wearing and even had the, the color of the pants kind of in the lighter part of it. I mean, so each of them really had a particular accent to each outfit. And it's, you can see that's how a scarf is worn. The French women are known for their um, scarves and how they wear them. And as you can see, it's a very easy, very chic way to just kind of dress something up and look very smart. So if you've watched this far into the video, which I hope you have and you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you'll know uh, when the next time I post a video is. Typically they're on Thursdays, but you never know. I might slide once in a while. Hopefully not, I'll stay on schedule, but please, um, if you can subscribe and that way you'll be able to see more videos in the future. My videos tend to be more fashion focused, but I do do a little bit of beauty and I do a little bit of fitness as well. So until next time.